So I started paragliding a few years ago, which was really great, but I always really wanted to try paramotoring. Gasoline-powered paramotors are pretty heavy and clunky, so I decided it would be really cool to design and build a lighter weight electric version. So I did. I started the build when I was an intern at Freefly Systems, so I was able to use their CNC router to cut all the carbon fiber parts that I needed for the frame, which consists of 25mm carbon tubing and carbon plate to clamp the tube in place. The propulsion system is actually an old Freefly Sinistar 6 hexacopter frame in a coaxial configuration with 12 Freefly Alta drone motors and 18 inch props. All the ESCs are Y harnessed together and fed into this Arduino based 3D printed trigger style throttle I made. It's powered off of four 10 amp hour 6 cell LiPo batteries mounted to the backside of the frame. I ended up using this paramotor harness that I took off an old Top 80 that I actually bought and never ended up using. Altogether, with batteries, it only weighs 35 pounds, which is quite a bit less than a normal gasoline paramotor with a full tank. The first time I tried to fly it was last winter, and it didn't really work out for a lot of reasons. So sketchy! Oh. I saw that coming. It was really cold, the winds were too strong, and I was using an old paraglider which was really hard to get up in the air. I've never flown a paramotor before, but I figure this is a great time to learn, testing out a prototype that's homemade. Um, I'm gonna run right towards the freeway and uh, hopefully not get blended. Woo. I'm, oh, now I remember that I needed little hooks right here to hold the lines, because I want to be able to get the wing up before I start the motors so that the lines are out of the way. For the second flight attempt, I used my friend's Skywalk Mescal paraglider. Yeah, you're snagged, Daniel. That's caught? Yeah. Yeah, lines are caught. You probably can see. Alright, now it's up and over. I was having a problem with the lines getting tangled on the bolts and tube clamps that made up the cage, but solved that problem on the fly by taping some chunks of foam onto the frame to guide the lines. Part of the problem must be that all the lines are hitting the frame, so I can't really pull the A's. I think I might need to put my hands forward more with the A's in them. This is ridiculous. Brake line caught. Really? Here, just keep running. There you go, motors
Wow. Such a beautiful thing cut short by such a stupid problem. So that was awesome. The reason I had to cut it short was because the balance lead got caught in a prop and then it, the battery started shorting out. It was like such a stupid, wait, no, that's not what happened. Whoa, this, oh, one of the, okay, there's, wow, look at this. There's molten solder all over the carbon and the, and the back of the harness. Wow, one of the connectors got, got caught in the prop and it broke off the EC5 connector and then they shorted out and it's unsoldered itself and splashed molten solder everywhere. And then somehow this broke on a separate note. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess I should be careful about that. Let's take a piece of tape off the paramotor because there's plenty of spare pieces of tape on it. And mask this off. Okay, that's safe now. <laughs> that was so cool though. So my new theory of what happened is these two little 10 amp hour six cell batteries were uh, being required to propel a person, a human into the air. So I think that they might have just, these wires might have gotten so hot that they, uh, yeah, I think, no, they definitely did get so hot that they unsoldered themselves. Because now that I feel these wires, they're a darker red. The silicone is falling off. Like, look at this. You can't see this because it's the GoPro. But this wire that wasn't plugged in, you see, I have wire harnesses here for four batteries. But this one that wasn't, and I was only using two batteries, so two were unplugged. The ones that weren't plugged in are uh, brighter red, and the ones that were pulling the current are darker red. So I was just pulling so much power, and the wires got so hot that the solder in the EC5 just melted. That's so crazy. That was just such, a, such an ordeal that I don't even really know if I want to do it again. <laughs> I need my own wing. Cause I was borrowing my friend Kalen's Skywalk, uh, Skywalk Mescal paraglider. Um, it's an ENA wing, so it's like a beginner paraglider. Um, I only have a, a mini wing, which is like a hybrid between a speed wing and a paraglider. So I couldn't use my own wing. And I also have an old, larger paraglider that's just old and not very user friendly. <laughs> So I can't really use that. So I either need to buy a paramotor wing um, and like really commit to this or just scrap the project at that. Say I got my feet off the ground and just be happy with that. So we'll see, I don't know what I'll do. Sunset's nice though.